War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. What's going on, everybody? Shinigami Psycho here with a brand new Let's Play for you of Fallout 4. Uh, since the world has basically gone to hell in a handbasket lately, I have been playing this game a lot. And so I wanted to go ahead and like incorporate it into the channel a bit and do um, do a, a let's play. Uh, <laughs> I'll apologize right now if I get a little off track with my dialogue for the moment as I'm sitting here trying to create my character and hopefully not waste a bunch of time. Oh. So, but anyways, yeah. Looking good. Yes, indeed, Nora. Yes, indeed. Uh, so I thought this would might be a fun use of my time, especially while I'm waiting for bigger name titles to hit the stage uh hopefully come this fall um so so yeah this let's play is going to be a little bit different than most as i'm going to go ahead and try to do um um a full-on like immersive let's play style um looking good go with pale skin. I do say so uh, myself. <laughs> Told you I was going to get distracted. Anyways, uh, I, I want to try and, and do the whole thing from the perspective of the character himself, where my contributions to the dialogue is more uh, his thoughts and feelings You're at the time instead gen. of me actually talking over everything and kind of disrupting the immersion. So that's what I'm going to go for. We will Hi. see if I can succeed in doing that. You think my nose is too big? Uh not going to hold my breath on this subject. Uh, so <laughs> I, I may succeed. I may not. Hopefully I will. I'm going to do my best not to. So pretty much after this little intro, this will be the last time that I talk to you guys Such directly and everything else that I say from here on with any luck will actually be the point of view of Nate here. And I am going to go ahead and use the name Nate. Um, just because, what do you think? Well, huh? I think it'll be a little bit easier to manage. I, I've been naming him Max. This is actually the third time that I've tried recording this. Uh, what do I normally use? Sean totally has your eyes. No, it's prominent that I usually like using with him. 
So yeah, I usually try the, the name Max. You know, I might just stick with Max. That's my preferred name. It really is. I like it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shift up here. And uh, make his eyes a little bigger. Well, hello, so, handsome. Yeah. Um, not, not, hopefully not too much else I have to say about that. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> I love that face. I'm getting way too distracted by my own uh, activities here, making my character. Whoa, too big. I clean up pretty Trying nice. not to make this boring is basically it. So, inf information. Yes, information. Um, <coughs> so, I am going to be doing this from the perspective Ooh, of a, mil a military man. So, I'm, I'm going to kind of go along with the vanilla thing, as this is kind of my first real attempt at a Let's Play of this caliber with, like, um, creating my own character, doing a role play of sorts. So I'm going to try and stick kind of close to what, what uh, Bethesda originally created. So my, bo my boy here, he's going to be a mil um, guy from the military, served in the Marine Corps. He was a, uh, a sniper, at, um, very well decorated. Uh, I have a couple of mods installed that, that make modifications to the start of the game here that will basically allow me... I have one that, that allows me to actually use his military background as a method of, of gaining like a head start. I'm leveling. Yes, I know some of you might call that cheating. You're welcome to your opinion. Um, personally, I like it because leveling in this game by itself kind of sucks. It's really hard, and you have to like limit yourself to getting very specific perks if you, in fact, want to actually get anywhere in the game. And to, well, to be honest, I'll be using those perks anyways, just because I want to level as quickly as possible so I can focus more on playing rather than actually leveling and then having to backtrack and do a bunch of extra crap. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do for eyes here? Something fun. I've got this awesome eye mod. It gives me custom... No, I don't think I want any of those. I'm going to stick with these fun colors up here. I like the red. That's not red. That says warped pink. I don't know. If I was playing her, I would probably do that. But... Actually, I'm thinking I'll just stick with the this red daggers. It's just like a deep blood red. It looks more natural. Yeah, not bad. I'm going to keep this hairstyle, but we're going to jump down here to my fun colors. And I think... What's the one I usually have been putting in the sun? Not aqua. There it is. Peace. Nice dark black, but with the, 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 the streaks of blue. Nice haircut. There we go. And with that, I think I'm just about done with character creation. Uh, real quick, eyebrows. Not bad. Not I think I just bad. always usually go with... What do you think? Average dark? What's different about you? I could go with arc thin. That looks okay. I will just bring them up a bit. All right, so there we go. There's, there is Max. Um, so yeah, I do have quite a few mods installed in this game. A couple of weapon mods. Uh, I'm using Armor Smith Extended with the uh, Armor and Weapons Keywords Compendium, so I can put things like ballistic weave and whatnot on various clothing items and things. Um, but for the most part, I am going to try and make this as as close to the, the, the base game as possible. And yes, I have female mods as well, because if I was playing in private, I would probably be playing a female character, because that's just me. Um, <coughs> however, uh, it, I, I think it's probably a little disconcerting to, to most to have a female character and a male voice narrating. So, I'm going to be a guy... <laughs> so that people aren't weirded out, hopefully. And no, I think I think we're good. I think I'm done. That that looks perfect. So okay, I'm gonna shut my mouth now for the most part, and we're gonna get into this. And I probably will not have another thing like this, hopefully for the rest of the let's play. If something important comes up, I will let you guys know. Otherwise, from here on out. I am now Max in the world of Fallout 4.
Oh, and with that, let's go see... Man, did we clean the bathroom recently? It looks pretty nice. Alright, I'm hankering for a cup of coffee. Codsworth. Oh, okay, so this is the mod I was talking about. Sorry, interjecting. Um, so yeah, I was a Marine, enlisted, and um, we'll say a, a sergeant and scout sniper with heavy combat experience because he, uh, originally the, the, the main character here was in what I guess what was called the Battle of, of Anchorage. Uh, so the, he was in a big-ass war up in, in Alaska over, like, an oil pipeline or something. I'll be honest, I don't actually know. This is stuff I've gotten from other videos I've watched. So we'll say, hey, uh, let's go with medium combat deployment. That way we're not jumping the gun way ah, too much. Good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rude to perfection. Sounds Thanks, great. Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Ah, Ah, coffee. And some childhood memories. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. What's in the paper this morning? Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Ugh. Need to finish making Sean's costume. I know, right? Not sure what I'm going to go as this year. Mm. So what's in the news? More of the same. Oh, sound like someone Figures. made a stinky. I uh oh. To young <laughs> Is this what's for you breakfast know, this morning? I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Yeah, I'm glad to have him around. He frees up my hands to do other things, like figure out if I'm having sugar bombs. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Yep. Because we all know I need more sugar. It's on the news. Well, that's to be expected. Times are changing, and it's it is the fall salesman. season. He comes for you every Wait, what? Day. Salesman? But we... Oh, I hate talking to these people. Fine, let's get this over with. Good morning! vault <coughs> calling. vault -Tec? What do you want? vault -Tec? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, sir. And helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Well, I do kind of have a life, and I don't really like having visitors. I'm kind of a stay-at-home person, you know? PTSD's a real bitch. What the hell's so urgent? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big That's kaboom what you call language? is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. Yes, I'm yes here it today is. to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Wait, so you're not selling me anything? Wait. What's the catch? Is there a catch? Because it kind of sounds like there should be a catch. What do you mean pre-selected? Are you feeling all you right, sir? You know I'm what, a I'm busy. busy right now. Oh, of course, of course. This won't take but a moment. It's just a matter of verifying some information. 
Need to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of, uh, <laughs> total atomic annihilation. Okay. <coughs> I'm still waiting for you to tell me how much it's going to cost. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Okay, so, let's start with name. And, yeah, I, can, I, I have to. It, it's my name. It, well, not well, not literally, but it, it's my favorite name. It's the one I like to use. It's a gender-neutral name. I can put it on any character, and it still works. All right, so, considering that I was a sniper, um, I've got pretty good, good perception and fairly high intelligence um and i'm really really lucky <clears throat> so we'll start there now uh i don't really need a whole lot of strength because well i i well i am i am a soldier so i suppose strength and endurance come with the territory uh, and probably a little bit of agility as well. However, I'm not very charismatic. Wait, how many? Just how many points did it give me? <laughs> Maybe too many. Wow. Okay. Um. So from there, let's see. Let's up that a couple more, and that one. Okay. And you know what? I think I'll just max out perception, and we'll put a couple more. There we go. <coughs> what? Uh, um. Oh, thanks crap. again. Hey, Too many buttons. It's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <coughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Told you this was going to be hard for me. Mr. Max, All right. the norm has been changed. Yes, Codsworth. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. All right, I'll see to it. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Little Tyke probably just needs some tender care. Good old USA. And what's this? Ah. Her law degree. I'm so proud of her. They only recently put that up there. It's hard to believe that she just recently graduated. Uh, who left the closet door open? Alright. How you doing, little guy? How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Spin the mobile. Got it. <clears throat> jingle, jingle. What do you think, buddy? Hey, how's my little guy? Is that fun? Much better now, huh? Why did you shut the door? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. The park? Really? That sounds like it could be exciting. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Codsworth, what's wrong? Oh boy. Did he spill the coffee? Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Wait, sounds what? of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with the affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have we do have coming Be in. Be careful with That's, the uh, kid. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! The bombs have dropped. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Codsworth. buddy. Stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Oh, oh jeez. Okay. Sanctuary Hills. Close the door. If you are registered. Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. I, I don't know. Come okay. On, 
Vault's this way. Right. Fo Shh. Follow wife and child. Shh, Stop okay. getting distracted by the scenery. We'll drive to the coast! That's oh, gotta be far this way! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are this registered, way. evacuate Vault 111 Who immediately. Who can? Just help me pack it up! Dude, luggage isn't important anymore. So they've dropped nuclear bombs on New York. This way. This way. Keep following. That's absurd. Wait. I am not on the list. Deck. You don't get I'm in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, oh okay. Oh god. Oh god. I'm recording oh this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, uh, return home. Such a shame to see the salesman leave. Um, we're, we're on the list. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. I have a name, you know. Yeah. God help us all. Why come on. All right. You two, uh, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. You mean they're gonna die? <clears throat> That's what that translates to. They're all gonna die. Step on the platform in the center. Well, Sir, we need to send you I mean, down to the vault. Step on the platform. I mean, we don't really have a way of knowing how close the bombs have been dropping to us. I mean, this is Boston. Almost there. We're, we're going to be okay. We're fairly far from New York. I love you. Both of you. We love you, too. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just going to shut up now. Oh god, oh god, oh, oh god! Think good thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, oh! It's time I stop talking to myself about things. We did it. I thought I had good luck. We made it. I mean, I made it out of the war, all right. But they just dropped a nuclear bomb almost Everyone right on my please head. Step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home, Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later, no, no, we'd all be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone it's kind of hard, dude. Like, it just happened. There. We all just about got vaporized. Do you have anything for the post-traumatic stress? I could really use an upper right now. Or maybe a downer. A nice long nap might do me some good. This one's good. Please, head up the stairs. Got a lot to do to get you oriented. Please in an orderly Pick up a seat right over there. Here you are. Welcome down the hall. Levels are good. Female and I'm glad you have right eyes and can see that. Yes, I am indeed a male. Good. Over yeah, there. Looks Take fine. a suit. Over there? Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. Why does your vault suit look different from that one? Just step Is there over some the sort table. of like gender inequality thing here where the women get the cooler looking vault suits? One vault suit. Now just head down the hall. Because I would like to file an official complaint, if that's the case. Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. Does mine look like yours? I mean, hell. The patterning on that? That thing has armor. It's down Thanks. the hallway right there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Yeah. You See? first, Doc. I can't exactly follow you if you don't start walking. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. And not When's that the bingo aren't night? Great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we Sir? had. My mother and father down in DC. Yes. Oh God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but Vault Tech. Uh, how long do you think we'll be down here? Away. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Hopefully long enough for Just me to fix my losing streak at the tables. Just yes, checking everyone the off the list as they come in. Fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future. 
right? Although I'm sure down here it's going to be kind of like prison where the only real currency we have is cigarettes. So I'm going to be hoarding. Just step in just here so you're aware. and put your vault suit on. <laughs> oh. It'll be okay. You are just not Daddy's having right a good here. morning, are See? you, buddy? Honey, <clears throat> could you help me? You seem to do just fine. Okay. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on so. your vault suit. <clears throat> um, is it just me or does that look wet? Like, what have you guys been doing to this? Please tell me that's disinfectant because that doesn't look like disinfectant. You're, you're, you're not even gonna... Uh, oh, oh, all right, I'll step in. And I've got the crappy blue one. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> depressurize Time and decontaminate. Resident like, secure. We're four stories underground. Occupant vitals. I think I'm pretty well Normal. depressurized. Procedure complete. As for decontaminants, well, okay, I'll give you. Five, that. Five, um. Four. Three. Two. One. Manual mobilize initial. What's going on? Did, did I just hear the word cryogenic? What happened to decontaminate cryo- Wait, this how long have I been in here? here? Open it. Oh, my head. Well, I did say something about wanting a nap, but... <laughs> Nowhere. Hey, okay. oh, open mine too. I'm awake over here. Hello. What? Hey, put the gun down. Don't appreciate you pointing a gun at my family. Burn it in your brain, burn it in your brain. Wait, what? No, open the door. Again. Tell me round one was just a bad dream. No. Oh god. My lungs are on fire. And you clearly said cryogenic. Like, I, I'm not a scientist, but I know what that means. That explains the water. And the stuff that doesn't look like ice. Is, is, is she really gone? Come on! There has to be a release! Oh, God. Oh, oh, open the door. Come on, come on, just, come on! open the door. Oh, God! I can't wrap my head around this right now. What? Why? Just why? I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. What reason did, did somebody have to come in here and kill, kill my family? And, and take my son? Oh, God. Why would Voltaire do this? I gotta get out of here. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Everybody's dead. 
everybody. Except in here. That one's empty. Is there anybody left in the vault? Life support offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, every, everybody's dead. Just how long have I been in here? More pods? More of my neighbors? More corpses. Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Well, isn't that just a drag? There are some signs of life. I got coffee cups everywhere, so they couldn't have always... Like, there was a staff here. Where did they all go? Oh, a noose. That might come in handy. This one's a little bit soggy and cold. Where am I going? Oh, I came from there. <coughs> this is the door I came in, though, isn't it? Oh, great. In emergency exit door it's not override. open. Please contact your vault tech maintenance representative for service. Well, it looks like somebody might have actually been trying to fix it, or just pry it open. Whatever it is. They... Whoever it was, and whatever they were doing, they left their tools. Oh god! What the? Oh good, a weapon. It looks like I'm gonna need a weapon. What do we got over in here? A stim pack? Medicine. Medicine's usually handy. Uh, oh, I think I'm gonna need that later. Bobby. I might have to pick a lock or something. To get out of here. So what the hell is going on? Uh, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended anim animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Unaware. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties, insubordination, or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Lethal force? On your own staff? For, for, for what? Like, you turned a bunch of us in, into long-term popsicles. What exactly is there to... Wow. Staff duties. Uh, science? Research team must daily monitor the vitals of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension. So 80%, wait, there was like, how many people in there? 80% means like, like, four left alive. Really? You guys are monsters. Services and maintenance? Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of those roles is left to the overseer. Well, that doesn't really tell me much. Security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitor monitoring signs of intrusion, checking for leaks, settling disputes, enforcement of regulations, and enforcement. Uh, set forth by the overseer and ones by vault tech 
Sounds to me like they're just hired bullies. I don't know. I don't like this. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault Tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault Tech, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. So they were just going to leave us here. Wow. Mandatory shelter period. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic and maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message, vault, all vault tech uh, from vault tech, ugh. The overseer may elect to evacuate staff after mandatory shelter period of 180 days. So that's all they had to stay here was 180 days. Like, that's not a lot of time at all. It's what six months? And then they were just allowed to fly off to God knows where and 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 leave their human petri popsicle test subjects for Vault Tech to handle from a remote location. Wow. Because that's the, the epitome of being responsible. Oh god, here we go. Don't know why they're. I... <laughs> Die! Giant. Roaches? What the hell? Yeah, they're big, alright. It looks like I'm, I can harvest them for meat. Another terminal. Recreation terminal. Uh. Oh. It's a game. Let's just take that. For prosperity reasons. Bathroom doesn't look like it's been cleaned in decades. Still would like to see something around here that might tell me exactly how long I've been in this hole. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, jeez. Here's the window where I saw the first one. That was probably the first one. There's another. <coughs> How many of these things are in here? How did they even get in here? Ugh. I think some people actually like those. Grouches are gross. And these are giant ones. Oh boy. Hello. <coughs> ah, you bit me. Gross. It bit me. Ugh, I need to wash it off. more stim packs and uh, hello there we go now we're talking finally something I know what happened hey there here? miss where is everyone well not to contradict myself but clearly everyone's dead definitely gonna want those bullets in the cupboard and an extra gun. I can use this one for parts.
And what are you? Well, hi, beautiful. Nice. Coming back later for you. Uh, the door's closed. Can I just... Terminal should open this. Okay. Can't just walk out. Oh, money. More bobby pins. You know, pencil could come in handy. Never know when you're going to have to write something down. Because, well, by the looks of this place, it, I, I've been in here a while, and I might want to take some notes. Uh, overseer instructions. Uh, yep, same rhetoric up top. No circumstances, suspension to be disrupted. Okay, nothing new there. Um, the cryolator. Portable on demand cryolator latest attempt. Ah! So it's a freezy gun. Could be useful. Um, overseer's log. System malfunction. Supplies running low. I don't need to read those to see what happened there. Mutiny! That one too. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. So he didn't open the door. <clears throat> it happened. No, that was. That's the day we came in. Evacuation tunnel. All right. Good. Doors open. Oh, left his glasses. Okay. Oh my word. So many bugs. Ah, I can't see around that light. But I can see you. Go away. There's another one here. Is that all? Any? Oh, nope. Uh, hold still. Hold still. Hold still. No. Oh, God, they're gross. Okay. <coughs> ah, just how much more is there to this? Ah. Well, there's my answer. What? What? But... Really? Now you open? Now that I've walked all the way around? Oh, come on. Is this all that's left? Ooh, more bullets. I definitely am gonna want more bullets, I think. If the cockroaches are this big, I can only imagine what else is out there. Oh, God. No, go, go away. Wait. What was that? It was like my mental focus just, like, went supercharged. That was kind of cool. Can I do it again? <clears throat> Excuse me, Doc. I'll be taking this. Just, just don't ask. Ah, now this.
this will come in handy. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put on a new jumpsuit because, oh my god, that one is gross. <clears throat> um, okay. Got some stuff. Good to good to have. We, we've got memos here of what needs to be done. Like, get out of the vault. Useful thing. A map of the local region. Should come in handy. Help me get from place to place. And radio stations. Wait. Radio stations? Are there still any radios in this time? Like... Assuming, like, that, you know, it's been a really long time, because, well, just look at this place. It's, uh, it couldn't have gotten this bad in just, like, 10 or 15 years. Like, this is some serious degradation. Just how I, I need to figure out just exactly how long I've been in here because oh my god, this is bad. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Dun dun dun. Few epic moments in history. I just want to go home. If I even have a home left. Are we good? Can we leave now? I think so. What is with this door? don't make any sense. Anyways, I didn't even bother looking down there. <clears throat> Definitely have to come, gonna have to come on back here and get some things, especially that Krylon, that looks really fun. But, I, you just, you don't know what's out there, you don't know what's left, so things like the clipboards and the coffee cups. I might need those. You never know. I'm gonna build a house out of clipboards and coffee cups. And and hope that the, the wind doesn't blow it over. No, nope, we're good. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank yeah. you for choosing Vault Tech 